Pico, a self-watering, self-lighting, hands-off, almost guaranteed way to grow anything, anywhere. If only I had a big enough one to put my kid into. <laughs> hey, I'm Dan. And I'm Rafi, and we're back again with another episode of Tech I Want, and today we're reviewing a product known as Pico. And as I'm sure many of you know who have ever grown plants, they're a little finicky. They're living things with likes and desires and many needs like food, water, light, and they can't just yell or scream at you. If you don't give them those things, they just die and you've got to kill tons of them before you finally figure it out. But with Pico, it's essentially an automated grow system that takes out all of the guesswork from growing plants indoors and throws them into the compost bin. <laughs> nice. The worries, not, not the Pico or the plants themselves. Yeah. And finally today we get our hands on Pico itself. Ta-da, Pico. That's it? Yeah, let's, uh, it's nice, it's sweet. I like the packaging. Yeah, it's very, very, very simple. small and cute, you know? I feel like this is something you could compost. Exactly, I was thinking the same thing. It's almost like an intentional choice that they've gone for this cardboard look. Very minimalistic, but also looks like, yeah, something you could throw in the compost bin and turn into a plant later on. So instead of sending us two Picos, the campaigner sent us four. And we have these two extra ones that we want to give away to you guys. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, like our video, and leave a comment below. In two weeks, we'll pick out a winner from all of you. Now, back to the show. All right, let's open it up. Ooh, lots of things in here. Yeah, it's nice. Instructions, you can read those later. I, I, do, like, I do like the instructions though. I, I, everything about this thing is really just kind of cute and simple. I think that's the major word that I think of whenever I think of this Pico, is that it's just tiny, cute, and... Yeah, it's not trying to be some high-end, amazing product. It's trying to just do its job well. And the color scheme, everything, oh. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Look at that. So it's pretty well packaged. We got a lot of layers of protection here. Very fun color scheme. Yeah, so you got the, what is it? It's like, it looks like you have two tones on yours. No, you got the simple, well, I guess you do. You have a light gray, a dark gray. Mine is a orange and white. My first impression is that, well, it's, it's small. It's, it's, I guess what, user friendly with the rounded edges? It's very minimalist, small, simple color scheme, kind of plasticky feel, but not cheap plasticky feel. It's almost toy-like, you know? Like it, it feels like instead of being just a regular potted plant, I'm, I have a toy somewhere in between, something playful. Yeah, maybe this is some way to get kids into growing plants as well. Oh yeah. So let's open it up a little further and take a look at what's inside. So in order to get into the products, we have this uh, telescopic arm, which... And at the top, what's this here? You've got the lights attached there. Four lights. We'll turn them on in a little bit and see what they look like. Right. Um, and the purpose of this arm, the reason why it goes up and down, is that so that whatever you have growing inside of here, as it grows larger, you can always have the light grow with it, so it's always a safe distance, not burning the plant. What we see on the crowdfunding website and what I see in front of me, some of the highlights are not only the Osram LED lights, um, but also the arm itself, which is a corrosion resistant steel, telescopic up to 12 inches, allowing it to grow with the plant itself. The plastic is a food safe, BPA free, environmentally friendly plastic. What this also means is that you can grow plants for food, things like herbs, uh, mint, whatever it may be that can fit with inside here, and it's safe to eat. It's pretty small. Uh, you wouldn't be growing tomatoes or watermelons inside it. Definitely not. But <laughs> I picture if you grow a watermelon in there, it's just gonna, poof, the watermelon's gonna take just over. Crash and it's, it's, out it's gonna be more like, like a, the Hulk. A, yeah, it's gonna be more like a Pico growing on top of a watermelon. <laughs> but for herbs and things in the kitchen, it's perfect. For little, I don't know, could you grow a tomato plant in here? I don't think so. I think it would, it would outgrow this thing. Yeah. And it has four lights, blue, red, and two white, which is all the plant really needs, isn't right. it? So the different lights are to simulate the different kinds of light that nature has. Moonlight, sunlight. I mean, I think that scientists are still trying to figure out what that cycle is like. 
but they do know that different spectrums of light work differently with different plants at every stage of their growth. There's this interesting feature that Pico has. You don't need to plug it in separately. We can daisy chain them together. Boom. We're starting our little Pico family. Yeah, it's like a little mi a mini forest, I guess. You want to try it out? Let's, let's do get it. let's yeah. get to planting. So here we have some soil. Conveniently, we are ready and prepared with some soil right next to us. Here we have some beans. Making a little bit of a mess here, but it's worth it. Let's add some seeds. And a little bit more soil. Yeah, let's cover those up a little. The rule of thumb is usually you cover a seed by how wide it is. By that much? Only that much? Yeah. I think I added too much. No, it's okay. It'll be fine. A little too much is not too bad. A little too less sometimes is not good because then it, the, the seed is not rooted in enough as it grows. Do I need to press it down? Yeah. Pack it down so that, because when you add water, it's going gonna, it's gonna to displace that soil and it might make the seeds come up. But if, as you pack it down, you kind of make sure that it is where it is. It's not going anywhere. Let's try out this little funnel thing. Oh, clips into place. I guess you could leave that there. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I mean, I guess it's only for aesthetics that you take it out or leave it. Here's our studio man with the water. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now let's fill it up. And so the idea here is you're not pouring it onto the soil. You're pouring it into the funnel, which fills in fills up the container below. Oh, right. It's a it's little a, slow to fill. Yeah, it's a very small funnel, so you gotta do it very slowly. Can you see it filling up? Maybe I, I can unplug this one, right? Take this one out of the shot. I think that's enough water. Does it show here? Yeah, yeah, so, so uh, through the transparent window, there is a, you can see how much water is in there, and we just went over a little bit over the max line right here. So that's one week, one week's worth full of water. Yeah, depending Set on how up. hungry the plant is, or thirsty, I should say. Okay, you want to wait here for a week? Yeah, let's come back. In, in, well, actually, let's come back in, let's say, maybe one year's time. See you then. 20 minutes later. And there you have it. Succulent plant, one year down the line. Yeah. There we go. And as this succulent grows to be over 12 inches tall, we'd extend this upwards. Now let's go try it out. Like how would it look like on the fridge? Right, so again, there's three different mounts. One of them being a magnet, the other is a hook and nail, and then we have a Velcro mount as well. Let's put it to the test and take it to the kitchen. So when we look at their crowdfunding campaign, it looks like they're present both on Indiegogo and on Kickstarter, and with a total of, let me, let me look this up, 1,769,510 dollars with 20,638 backers. That's pretty impressive. So that was the Pico. Please uh, let us know down in the comments what you guys thought. Tell us what you think about Pico itself and what you think about our show, Tech I Want. I'm Dan. And I'm Rafi. Please make sure to give us a big thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Hit that bell, subscribe. Until next time. We're out.